going to lead you in prayer. Let us bow down and pray. Most precious, most adorable God of Israel, we humble ourselves in your glorious presence, O God. Thank you for your faithfulness and greatness, O God. Thank you because you are a great, good God. And your greatness no one can fathom, and your greatness is beyond measure. We salute you, your majesty, and affirm your faithfulness, O God, and declare your, your sovereignty, O God. This day, O God, we are grateful, O King, in every authority for bringing us together to have a fellowship. And we welcome your presence, O God, for you are our priority principle. That whatever we do must, it shall be an acceptable sacrifice of thanksgiving. O God, we pray that you'll forgive us our sins, O God. Since that we have committed knowingly, unknowingly, willingly, or unwillingly, O God, have mercy on us and sustain us in your goodness, O God. Lord, precious Lord, we pray for our viewers and members of this congregation, O God, that Lord, you'll uh, watch over them and keep them safe. And every desire of their heart, O God, may you honor it in line with your will. We pray that your presence will guide us in this service, O God, that it shall be acceptable to you. We ask you to bless our preacher of the day, and that Father you find favor in him. Bless us all. And in this storm of COVID-19, Father, we pray that, O oh God, we will cling to your word that says you shall not leave us nor forsake us. We are safe, O oh God. We pray that you'll take us through this service, Lord, and that, Lord, at the end of the day, all honor and glory shall be yours. For this is our prayer of faith, trusting, believing through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Our Father, who Amen. art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on other cities in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Praise God, church. Praise God again. We shall have our elder uh, welcoming us this evening. Welcome. Praise the Lord this evening, our viewers. Uh, Zon Luke is humbled to be here in the service. We want to welcome each one of us into this evening service, even as we lay ourselves before God so that he may continue ministering unto our hearts. I know all of us are excited that you have been allowed to come back to church and we thank God because this is his dream. Uh, we want to say that uh, may we patiently wait until a proper communication is done on the actual date of coming back to church. Otherwise, I want to bring the greetings of our reverend and of all the elders as I welcome each zone. We want to welcome Luke, Zone Luke, Zone Matthew, Zone James, Zone Andrew, and Zone Simon to this evening fellowship. Let us all feel at the feet of Jesus and let us have a wonderful time fellowshipping together digitally. Thank you. Praise God. Thank you, Elder Elizabeth. We shall now have our reading which will be read by our sister, Esther. Good evening. Good evening. Praise the Lord. Amen. My name is Esther Wangari Wamburu, and I love the Lord as my personal savior. I'm going to take you through our reading, which comes from the book of Luke, chapter 6, verses 37. Luke, chapter 6, and verses 37. It says, Do not judge, and will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. That is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Esther, for your reading. Uh, we shall now go straight to our preacher. We shall have uh, the word by Evangelist Ngaruya. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Buona Sifiwe. Amen. 
is another good uh, evening that the Lord has given unto us uh, that we may share the word of God together in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who is reading you today or the one who is uh, preaching is Anthony Ngaroya. Christ is the Lord in my soul. I bless him because of giving me such a wonderful evening that we may share what he has to say. Praise be to God. And the title of, the, of our message today comes from, our, our reading comes from the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 37. The title of our message is uh, forgive, Forgiveness That Brings Healing. Amen. And uh, I would say, or I would start by saying that release them and you will be set free. Praise be to God. Amen. As I would talk about releasing uh, and so that you may be set free, uh, maybe one of the or so many uh, statements that will come to your mind after hearing this kind of statement, uh, one of them would be, but you do not know what he did to me. Praise be to God. They lied about me over and over again. Number three, she intended to destroy my career and she did. If you knew what this has done to my family, you would be angry too. Number five, you can't imagine the hell I have been through. They deserve to suffer like they have made me suffer. And once again, I would like to start uh, to continue by saying that forgiving someone for what they did or said isn't always easy. In my experience, it can be one of the hardest things, one aquasifa. But it can set you free and, and help you move on with your life. Praise be to God. Amen. Forgiveness is clearly a voluntary action. It takes more than courage and strength to do it. One aquasifa. And I would like to quote some uh, quotes about forgiveness. One of them is this. Forgiveness does not change the past, but it does enlarge the future. That if you forgive, it will not change what happened to your life. If you forgive your neighbor, it will not change what they did to you, but it will enlarge your future in a mighty way. The other thing that I would like to say is that the act of forgiveness takes place in our own mind. It really has nothing to do with the other person. As in, if you forgive, that act of forgiveness takes place in our own mind. As in, your mind gets cleared. You feel that the burden is away, has been taken away from you. Always forgive your enemies. Nothing annoys them so much. Do you know when you forgive your enemy, when you forgive your brother that has sinned against you, when you forgive your sister that has done a, a very big mistake against you, that is one way of annoying them. At times it is hard to forgive, but I add you, my brethren, and uh, my brethren in the name of the Lord, that it is good to, to learn how to forgive because this annoys even your enemy. The other point is this, to forgive is the highest, most beautiful form of love. In return, you will receive untold peace and happiness. Do you know when you forgive that person that did an evil thing to you, if you forgive that neighbor that stepped into your family and maybe destroyed your marriage, if you forgive your children that have not been obeying you today, that, will, that is a kind of joy, a kind of love that cannot be expressed. And you yourself, you will have peace to overcome your future or to overcome your distress. The other thing is this, not forgiving is like drinking rat poison and then waiting for the rat to die. 
Any, you drink a poison that was prepared for the rat, and you yourself, you waited for the rat to die, one a Pesifa. And therefore today I would like you to, to know in Jesus' name that it is only for your own benefit you forgive your children. It is only for your own benefit you forgive your husband. It is only for your own benefit you forgive your wife. Maybe he or she has done something that cannot be forgiven. And you, you are even wondering how can you, Garoya, say that I should forgive my children? After taking them to school and they cannot obey me any longer. After paying that kind of uh, a big amount of school fees and they cannot even stand with me at this particular time. Forgive them even at that particular time where you are feeling that you cannot be able to forgive. Bona Sifa. The other point is this. Forgiveness is a sign that a person who has wronged you means more to you than the wrong they have dealt. Bona Sifa. Hallelujah. You know, forgiveness is a sign that the person who wronged you is better than the, the, the thing that he did against you. Bona Sifa. As in you got married, ma ma married to a person who is a drunkard. You got married to a person who cannot understand you. Maybe you've been trying to work out your marriage. Things are not getting better. They even uh, get from uh, worst to worst. Bona Sifa. But today I'm telling you that if you forgive them, they are good, they are better than the wrong they did to you. Bona Sifa. The other thing is this. Forgiveness isn't approving what happened. It is choosing to rise above it. As in what your, your, your enemy did to you, what they did to you, what, what your children did to you, what your boss did to you, it's not that you are approving what they did, but it is only because you choose to rise above it in Jesus' name. And that is why you will find that you will not get sick or you will not get a high blood pressure because of human beings. Because you are able to forgive. The other thing is this. If you cannot forget, forgive and forget, pick one of them. One I would urge you today that if you cannot forgive and forget, then pick forgiving. Or if you cannot be able to forgive, then forget about it. Praise be to God. And that will make you move over this COVID-19 pandemic, over the issues of being rid of job. If you are rid, uh, you are rid of from your working place, and you are feeling that you cannot be able to forgive your people, one oppressive, or to forgive your boss, I came to remind you today that today decide to forgive. If you cannot be able to forgive, then forget about it. And when you forget, then you have a new beginning of your life. Then you have a new beginning of whatever you've been, uh, uh, whatever God has prepared for you. The other issue is that to forgive is to set a prisoner free and discover that the prisoner was you. Wana Pesifa. Hallelujah. As in, kusamehe ni kama kuachiria mfungwa, lakini unajipata wewe ni mfungwa mwenyewe. Wana tukuzwe. Nataka kukumbusha hivi siku ya leo. Ya kwamba unapo achiria yale ambao ulitendwa, unapo achiria makosa ambao uh, ya, meku, uh, uh, umef, ya mefanyika juu ya maisha yako, maybe ya metendo na mtu fulani, ni kama wewe mwenyewe ndio umejifungua from that kind of bondage in Jesus' name. And I will end by someone by this. If you read Mark 2 verse 5, the Bible says that when he saw their faith, he said unto him, Man, thy sins have been forgiven. Bona Pesifa. Today I would like to call you for an altar call. Maybe you have not given your life to Christ. And the Bible is saying that when Jesus saw their faith, he said unto him, Your sins are forgiven. I came to remind you in Jesus' name that if you, if, if you go to Christ, if you run to him, this man that was carried paralytic and he, he was brought and brought up, uh, brought down from the, 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 the rooftop before Jesus Christ. 
The Bible says that when he saw the affair, they were, he was forgiven. And after he was forgiven, he was healed. After you are forgiven, the, after you forgive, then you are healed. After you are forgiven, then you are healed in Jesus' name. Bwana Sifa. Hallelujah. Bwana Tukuzwe. Shall we pray? Master of all the universe, the King of kings, the one who knows our lives even before God, who knew our life even before God we were born. Thank you, Jesus, because of this particular evening. We want to give you glory, Jesus, for reminding us about our, your forgiveness. You went on the cross, O oh God, because Jehovah God, you needed us, Jehovah, to be reconciled with our maker. And now, oh God, we want to surrender all to you. If we have not been able to forgive our neighbors, help us to do it in Jesus' name. So that God, you may forgive us, Jehovah Father. The Bible says that if we forgive, you, we shall be forgiven. Forgive us our trespasses, O oh God. We have sinned against you, Jehovah. One on one, Jehovah God, we have gone against you, Lord. We have made and uh, we have uh, we have made and complained before you, O oh God. And at a particular point, God King in glory, even during this pandemic, Jehovah God, we have been punished because of our sins, O oh God. But today, God, we request you to forgive us Jehovah because there is no other God like you King in glory we give you praise we exalt your name because of your forgiveness in our lives in Jesus mighty name Lord we pray amen, amen. amen. I was uh, uh, preaching I'm Anthony John Ngaroya uh, your deacon and friend as my my uh, as our reverend always say that your reverend and friend today I would like to say your deacon and friend God bless you. We love you all.